Hello, this is of course Grayson doing some more. Rise of Tomb Raider 4, PlayStation 4. That would have been so cool if I had landed. But no, Laura's not that cool. I mean, she's like pretty badass, but yeah. I mean, we saw. I tried it. Didn't work out. So, uh, this is, I believe, one of the last optional tombs. Unless I'm missing one. Because I'm trying to think... Uh, because, yeah, it says that this is pretty much the last tomb according to the little, uh, legend map. Or the region summary that's over there. Uh, but then, let's see, that one says 100%. That one says 100%. Uh, that's where I am with the story right now. Um, that's 100%. 93. 100%. 100%. 100%. Sweet. So, this might be the last tomb. And we're gonna get all the skills necessary to whoop Anna and Constantine's Tukus. Son of a biscuit. I'm just like so full on like all the good stuff. I kind of wish there was a way to like get rid of some of the stuff. That way I can just be like, give me everything. So I don't know about you, I don't I don't know about everybody else, but like, I'm a looting fool. And then if I have the option to destroy items so that way I don't see them again then that's what I usually end up doing with certain games, where you can actually destroy an item. Destroy an item to pick up a mundane one, just because they were both mundane. Ooh, water slide. Hell yeah. All right, cool, so that's my way out. Take advantage of you. So if I don't have to be in the water, I won't be in the water. Because it doesn't look like I can jump up from that. But I do see something. You know, that's almost like a, a, a bit of a curse. Like, I've got that, uh, I've got that extra mm. sense some kind of burial chamber. Oof. Oh, hey. A basket made of silver. Certainly meant to be decorative, but someone's been using it to carry grain. Yes, someone. <laughs> oh, we don't know who. Okay, um, gotta try and figure this out. I can use the other spool to get the raft closer to the island. Hell yeah. Nope, not that side. There we go. Someone broke into this place in the dead of night. They filled their pockets with coin, turned over urns of oil and wine, and saw fit to show disrespect to all that are interred here. It shreds my heart to think that one of our own could be so callous as to desecrate this place, all for a momentary earthly gain. We must find a way to keep this place safe, even from our own brothers. I mean, once you start making money in roughly any society, I feel like corruption is very, very soon to follow.
come to me boat. Excellent. Goodbye, boat. You come me well. Well, don't worry about the ferryman. Oh, look at this little boat. You're just chugging along. Good for you, little boat. Okay, little boat, I need you. Come to me. Chug along, chug along like I know you could. There we go. Gotcha. Almost there. Hello. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that's what I need. Because you will pull me forward. Oh shit. By all rights and accounts, I should have been off the boat. But I would totally take advantage of any and all oopsie daisies. You know what? I have a sneaky feeling. I have to use the second boat. It's funny how I'm having such a rough time with this one now. Okay, little boat, come to me. Uh-oh. We might be in trouble, little boat. We were in trouble. So, what happens to you? You flip around and shut along that way. Okay. Good for you. Uh, hmm. Because I need to figure out how to... Well, yeah, that's supposed to... Like, it's, it's spinning. Okay. So we'll try this again. That's why. Because I was not using the correct uh, bolt in order to get over. Ooh. Oh, wait, no. I thought I saw you. I did not see you. I saw the wrong thing. I saw the thing that I wanted to see. I see a box. I see a jar. Interesting. Did they embalm their dead? Yep. 
more stuff that I can't use. But I did get a map. And the map is going to be very useful. A golden chalice fit for a king. Or a prophet. It was made here in Katash. Don't need you. Probably don't need you. Secrets. I've got eight of nine. All right. So basically, it just tells me the weak point. Catacombs of sacred water. Dunsky. Sweet. All right. So we can safely assume I am on my way out of here. Uh, looking at the time, probably the shortest episode for the. Uh, for these tombs. Um, I wonder if that means that there's like another tomb somewhere. I mean, that's that's kind of what it has to mean, right? So, um, yeah, I think we're pretty much sitting pretty, mostly just because we're going to be going a little bit of time. Um, I won't make the episode go much longer than it needs to go. Uh, but anyway, go ahead and start wrapping it up. I have been Grayson. This is, of course, Rise of the Tomb Raider 4, PlayStation 4. If you've been enjoying yourself, please, by all means, do hit that like, comment, and subscribe. It can help out me and the channel. Greatly appreciate it. If you want more content, I'm also part of a TTRPG podcast called Dean Dark. I play Jack Griffin, the Invisible Man, Artie's Rogue. And also, if you want to learn a little bit more... We do have our fan wiki page. And the uh, fan wiki page will give you a little bit of like background information on some of the characters. Okay, now where do I go? I'm lost. Do I walk through here? Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought it was like a solid wall on the other side. So... Uh, let's see. Trying to think if there was anything else that I needed to share with you. Um, I think by the time of this recording, we're still... Well, actually, Laura's on her way to the Deathless Ones. Uh, so that might explain why it's slightly out of order. But, um, I don't think it's, like, too far removed. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to show off these challenge tombs just because uh, I like a challenge and I like showing them off. Um, plus, like, the, the people that did this game, very creative with uh, some of the puzzles. So, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. So, of course, do take care of yourselves. Take care of each other.